Reading the Toronto papers, huh? Yeah, I just. Sorry, I didn't mean to. I wasn't. Uh... No, that's okay. Sure, you okay? No, oh, great. Okay. Just getting some smokes. Weather's well, still legal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, we'll see you. Weather's still legal. <laughs> Thanks, sir. And the position is at your headquarters in Toronto? Account in the 401? Isn't that right, Scarborough? Okay, thanks very much. You must be salt. So, so, sa, slut, no. Saute. S A U L T, like Sue. Oh, how lovely. Yeah, I didn't know how to pronounce it based on the file. What file? Thanks for coming, everybody. I am so excited about the new direction we're taking. I don't want to dwell on the past or point fingers about alienating clients or losing accounts or saying inex inexplicably rude things to Kyle the intern. I am sure that this PD session will be a great success. I'd like to welcome and turn things over to our new VP of Human Resources, Jason Rogerman. You know what I believe in? I believe in the team. I believe that we need each other to bring out our best. And no, we don't need someone to tell us how great we are, do we? No. <laughs> oh, but it's sure. So I like to start with a little exercise I call one nice thing. That's right, one nice thing. <laughs> you see, you got a sheet in front of you with a list of everybody's names on it. Now, why don't we just take oh, 15 minutes and just write one nice thing beside each person's name, okay? Now, I know, I know, I know it sounds a little corny, whoop, whoop, and all that, but <laughs> try and be specific, all right? And just uh, one nice thing for each particular person. Sue, so are you all right? <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> ah, it's somebody calling 911! You're gonna be okay! Just give her some room, people. You're gonna be okay! What is that heady perfume of tobacco and bile? Oh, hello, Sue. I think he's warming up to you. Oh my god. What happened? Oh, uh, hey. You guys. Look, is your apartment on top of an Indian burial ground or something? lonesome my first year out here. You're right. I was. It took me a while to make real friends. Z, imagine how long it would take me. Well, you had something going on with hallway boy, Nick. 
Me was nice. I see. Oh, fine. It was my fault. Okay, I should have been more honest. Sue, without honesty, there is no intimacy. I didn't want intimacy. I wanted sex. Look, I'm just saying, it doesn't happen overnight. <laughs> Stanley was a hard sell. Wait a minute. You pursued him? <laughs> and it wasn't easy. I had to do some digging around. Bone up on my Stanleyology. I got his ex drunk one night. Found out he liked indoor picnics, preferred opera to jazz, you know. I don't even know if Nick's the one. Look, Sue, there is no one. Do you like him? I don't hate him. It's perfect. Right out of Jane Austen. This is Sue from Copy. Yeah, it's a little better, thanks. But I'm gonna stay home today. I'm invisible. I'm right behind you. shoes and socks. The bathroom getting dressed. What's going on? You're freaking me out. What? I... Oh, I'm sorry. How rude. Please come in. So, it brings you to my apartment. Why are you following me? Come on, you, you just called and, and breathed for a while and, and hung up. That was you? Oh, I'm sorry. I must still have you on speed dial or something. I was trying to call my doctor. Your doctor? Why? Uh, there's nothing. I've just had a couple panic attacks lately. Are, are you okay? It's just stress, I guess. You know, my job and this place is just supernatural. BC, just... I think I might be of some assistance. Yeah? Prescription. Dr. Papathanasiu's custom blend of seven secret herbs. Now, this is not recreational. This is strictly a break glass in case of emergency spliff. You take one toke, maybe two. Do not operate machinery or a motor vehicle. Okay. Thank you. 
I hope you're feeling better. Did you want to have a uh, um, a snack? It's kind of like old times, huh? Yeah. What? No way. I don't believe it. The return of the Just for Sex girl. And I'm totally fine with it. Oh, you lucky bastard. I know. The secret is my je ne sais quoi. Nick Gilder, hot child in the city. Pow. Wait a minute, you're saying you have no residual feelings of guilt? Nope. No uncontrollable impulses to phone her up? Nothing. I'm free and I'm alive. Hey, Nick. Going so soon? Huh? Oh, uh, well, I just, I just thought that... There's some more chicken left. Um, no, no thanks. It, it was good, though. I've never really had an indoor picnic before. Me neither. Ah, uh, well, yeah, I'll see ya. Do you like opera? Huh? Yeah, I mean, not opera, but... Uh, jazz or, or, or rock? Because I was thinking of getting tickets to something. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, you know, I, I got exams, uh, you know, coming up. So it's going to be a busy couple of weeks. But, um, yeah. Sure. Yeah. All right, well, we'll see, see you around. You had an indoor picnic? Yep. Sue, I did that for Stanley. You can't... I know, I know, I know, I know. There's only so much you could do with pink elephant popcorn. Pink elephant popcorn. I need more intel. Did you just say I need more intel? You just do your little mistake. Ow! Ow! Yes, yes, yes! Yes! Nick's not here. I know. Really? Listen, Hal. You don't like me, and I don't like you. What? I like you. Oh, really? Great, because I like you too. Okay. Um, Wait a minute. How did you know that Nick's not here? I watched him right off. Why? I have a couple questions. No. Why don't you like me? Can we just focus here? I just. Is it the what? way I look? Is it my manner? I just need to know a couple things Nick likes. You know, like food, activities. Ah, uh, uh, I, I know, I know, I know. It's because I called you the Just for Sex girl. What? <clears throat> Nick. Things Nick likes. You called me the Just for Sex He likes girl? being my roommate. He likes how I dress. He admires my way with women. Is that how Nick sees me? The Just for Sex girl? Of course not. So, come on, come here. Don't move. What? Is it my teeth? Now, after your spell the other day, everybody made their lists. Remember? The things we liked about one another? And we didn't get yours. I think... It's a nice thing to see the good things about one another. Well, you don't have to do this right now if, if you don't want to. I'd like to try. OK, will you take your time? Hillsboro. No, make it a carton. If you say so. Those have a tremendous amount of trans fat. I want you to want me. I need you to need me. I love you to love me. Oh, hey, Sue. How you doing? So nice to see you. I'm glad I ran into you. 
Surprise! What? Why were you running? Because you were chasing me? Can I just talk to you for a minute? Will you get uh, off of me? Yeah. Uh. Oh, okay, thanks. No! Oh. <coughs> I mean, what is it? You you call me up out of the blue. I know. You act like you want to have you know, some kind of casual. Thing, and then you start following me around like a Stephen King story. I mean, why are you freaking me out? I don't know. I hate it here. I don't fit. Maybe you don't. You don't. I just I thought if I could just have a normal relationship. And you're nice. Normal, sort of. The first guy I didn't hate. You wanted you and me to. Never mind. So stupid. Listen, Sue. I'm... I... You're an awesome person. I mean, a... like a really amazing girl and and everything. And you know, I... I'm sure that you know some lucky guy is. Wait a minute. Are you breaking up with me? Oh, Sue, come on. But we aren't even dating. Oh, that, that's what makes this so awkward. I don't even want to talk to you right now. Hey, well, that works for me. Great. Like nuts. Because it's over. Whoa, whoa. It's over? Hmm? No, no, I'm breaking up with you. You can't turn this around on me. You can't pull a switcheroo. It's quaint expressions like that that women find so adorable. And by adorable, we mean boring and dull-witted. You've been stalking me for a week. Things have been slow at work. You tracked and tackled me. Well, you're not the guy for me. Yeah, you damn right I'm not. I'm, I'm way too... Simple and intimidated? Rational, straightforward. Well, you're right. You need a woman who... Fun? Really... Non-certifiable? Plain, ordinary. Let me sign it out for you. I don't like you. Then I don't hate you. These are wobbly. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, really, seriously, I think I'm gonna oh. fall. Okay. Oh. okay. You're gonna be okay? Yeah, this is only as enough to walk anyway. Oh. Okay. Oh. Listen, Sue, I. You're worrying about fitting in. No, Nick. Don't. It's embarrassing. No, no, no I just, I just think that. I, I mean, you don't. You don't fit in. And I, and I always thought that, that that was your thing. I mean, your square peggity is one of the things that I didn't hate about you. You're a sweet guy. Yeah, sweet, huh? That's, what, is, what does sweet mean? Sweet means you're the perfect guy for someone else. <laughs> How are you feeling? Fine. Oh, good. Good, actually. Because we were going through the files of nice things. We we're going to hand them out to the staff, and we found one that it just jumped out at us. It's, oh, yeah? Yeah, it's yours. Really? No. Yeah, no, I don't know, but maybe you, you misunderstood the purpose of the exercise. For example, um, 
you know, reign of shipping might appreciate the fact that you like the inventive way he uses a pen to dig at himself, but telling Carolyn Sales that she has an ass that just won't quit, not appropriate. I thought these things were anonymous. Yes, uh, but you signed your name at the top. And then, of course, there's the nice things people said about you. <clears throat> Doesn't blow smoke into my office anymore. It took me a while to learn the local bylaws. Always admits it when she steals my low-fat yogurt. Low-fat my fat ass. <laughs> and my personal favorite doesn't smell. Mm. Salt. You're a gifted person. You're an intelligent person. Fire me. Make me an offer. Six months severance and a letter of recommendation. Won't regret firing me, I promise. New reading material. Thought I'd give one of your crappy local rags a try. Hey, Sue. Be it sunshine.